have you ever had one of those days where you were more tired than you knew you were? It's like your body's like, oh, we about to make us some sleep time, sis. We about to make us some sleep time. That was today for me. I took an almost four hour nap, y'all. Four hours. Not, not two, you know, because two is a standard nap. Four. This was a double nap. Now, let me tell you, um, I haven't, so I, I'm a little out of it. So I said, cause my plan was, I was gonna take this little nap and I was gonna put on my makeup and then I was gonna, you know, do some filming and everything. I'm still gonna film though. So I said, put on some hair, throw on a little lip gloss and some glasses and make this and make it do what it do. And so that is what we are doing today. So yeah, anyway, let's talk. Today is about honey 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 oh my goodness i have some i got some good stuff for y'all anyway let's get into the honey noted fragrances per let's get into the honey noted perfumes in my collection Honestly, never thought that I would have this many and get like caught up in honey. But we're gonna talk about the honey fragrances, and I'm gonna talk. There's some good ones, great ones, and then uh, ones not so great. But anyway, the thing with honey is I never thought of it as a perfume note. You know, never did. Now, of course, there was when I was younger, I wasn't looking at perfume notes. We didn't do those type of things. You didn't know. You just knew it smelled good, and you wore it. You just knew it smelled good to you, and you wore. It. But now, you know, we look up notes, we do all of that. So, um, I've, you know, I've had honey, but one of these in particular took me over the edge on honey. And then I've just been in this honey mood. I don't know. I get in these moods and then it's like they just start just coming out of nowhere, coming out of nowhere. Some of these I already had. Some of these I was like, oh, I need to add, but let's get into it. So the first one I want to talk about is this one. This is the first one that I had that had a really serious prominent honey note. And this is Scandal by Night by Gautier. And I had a small one. I really do want to get a bigger one eventually. But the thing is with this one, this is so interesting. I've always said it was a honey bomb because it is. It is a sweet, sticky honey bomb. But I had never noticed the cherry. And this has a really strong, prominent cherry note to it. It has some tuberose because i've always smelled the honey and the orange blossom but now i'm getting a cherry from it and a little bit of the tuberose so it has really become more intriguing to me to be quite honest i did not wear this all last season people be like why did you still have it because i still love it but the thing is you know our lives have been them lives where we're going out and kicking it or having dinner dates or anything so date nights so i just really didn't um wear it as much but this is such a sexy seductive fragrance if you can handle that deep rich syrupy honey on that orange blossom and that cherry baby you will turn somebody out Boom. all right so now this where's it at where's it at hold on don't you hate when you pull something out and then you looking for it and you cannot find it and you know you pulled it out and it's sitting right in your face? Okay, so let's get started. This one, I need a new one of these too. Ooh, this is actually Stung by Ganache. Now I have the original packaging. It has now changed it to a much sleeker, sexier packaging. But this is the one that really made me know that, whoa, I would like honey in a fragrance. This one is apple with honey and beeswax. And oh my goodness, it is just this, oh, intoxicating fragrance to me. Like I said, it's got, in the beginning, it has a strong apple note, and but it's like apples and honey, right? And, but it's not cooked. It's like, you know, just like you had apples and drizzled it. Like you just had some really fresh apples and drizzled it with honey. And then, but as it dries down, the apple goes away. And at first I was like, oh, I'm not liking it like that. But then the beeswax came in. So it's like you got this honey and beeswax. And it is just, this is 
this made me really say i really love honey honey fragrances i mean like i love scandal but scandal was like sexy and everything but this one had a different vibe too and it was like it just took me out y'all i just had to have it all right so let, next up on the ganache is his latest one when this one is called honey oh man okay so this one is a departure from the from Stun. This is more perfume -ery because it has that honey, but the honey is so well blended. It's a sweetness. It's not super sticky. It's just like a drizzle of honey, but it has this beautiful floral notes to it. Mm, damn, this just smells so good to me. Yeah, this thing is, ooh, ooh, this is so, so, so good to me. Oh, good. All right, next, let's talk about this right here. This is Shergi by Serge Luton. This is well known for being a deep, it's got that strong honey note that gives it the sweetness. This is, um, this is definitely for fall, winter time, because I mean, look at that deep, rich uh, juice in there. It is, it, is, it is just as deep and rich as the color of the juice. So, sure. Now, this one is Nuit de Celephon. Mm. So, this is uh, a floral fragrance. The honey gives it a little sweetness. So, if you're one of them type of people who, you know, you still struggle with florals, but you need to have something kind of Gourmandi, sweet, vanilla, something like that. This is what Nuit de Celephon gives you. Now, it has this very, um, very French chic fragrance. I have talked about it in my Serge Luton collection. And and it's not well, it's not what it's not one of the you know popular Serge Luton's, but I love it because it has this kind of you know French Riviera chic vibe to me. Um, this is definitely can be worn in the spring and summertime. This is definitely summer night, spring. It can be worn anytime. Um, but it it's just this beautiful floral with this beautiful hint of honey that gives it the sweetness that it needs. All right, Deluxe. Oh, let me. Let me go back to this one. This one is a travel spray, and I've been me. I'm getting this one. This is Five O'clock Jean Jambre by Serge Luton. This is a ginger tea. Now the thing with this one is that this is different than my green teas because this is more black tea based, which means it, it's a little richer. It's a little bolder. It's a little, you know, um, it has a little more heavy essence to it. Whereas, you know, green teas can be very light. This is a little heavier, but this is just a beautiful ginger tea that makes you feel like you just you know a coziness it has a coziness to it like this is something like reminds me of like when you're not feeling well and you're having a because i drink ginger tea when i'm not feeling well so it reminds me of not feeling well and you know getting me some ginger tea you know with a little lemon in it yes this is five o'clock jean jean bray now let's go back to deluxe by tiziana terenzi now this one, of course, is rose, vanilla, and coffee. But it gets it's sweet. It's got a little honey in it to give it a little sweetness. Takes it a little over the top. This is um, my favorite of that like rose, coffee, um, vanilla vibe because this is so intense. This is so in your face. If you hear my neighbors, please forgive them. I don't know if you all can hear them. Let me know if you can, because I can hear them clearly. But anyway, y'all know. Um, so anyway, yeah, this is Deluxe by Tiziana Terenzi. This is just like one of those very, um, it's just a, it, the honey in it just enhances the the vanilla and it enhances that whole coffee vibe. Because I have a thing for coffee and honey. But anyway, there's that. All right, I forgot about another Serge. This is Serge Luton's Fleurs de Citronnaire. Now, this is a more of a floral. It's got lemon blossom, 
think it's got tuberose in it. Yeah, it's got two rows in it. So what it is is the honey is like that balancer. So the balance this gives it a little sweetness, so it's not too floral. It balances it out, gives it a, a just a little touch of sweetness, so that it's not quite so just in just basic florals. You know, Serge Serge knows what they're doing when they create a fragrance, and so that's that is Fleur de Citronnaire. Next up, oh, I forgot this one, Terenzi. This is Marema. I was trying to do them like, you know, houses together. Oh, well. Um, this is Marema. This is one of them fragrances that I, I got it on Royalty Scent, smelled it, found a good deal, purchased it. This is very Black Orchid-esque, Tom Ford Black Orchid-esque, but it's better because I don't like... Tom Ford's Black Orchid. If y'all know, no, y'all know. I don't like Tom Ford's Black Orchid. However, I love this fragrance. It has all the good parts of Black Orchid, but it's a much sweeter and lasts longer on the skin. And it just so it gets rid of that one note that I can't stand in Tom, in that in Black Orchid. That one baby aspirin note is gone. But this has this just sweetness to it it gets all that sophistication that tom that black orchid has but i can wear it you know and the and it has this really nice honey note to it so maybe that's part of what's making it better for me because the honey gives it a little silkiness a little a little you know um you know uh, it just gives it a little more intrigue than the time for black orchid because i Tom Ford Black Orchid. I'm just here to say. Can I say that again? Say it with me. She no like Tom Ford Black Orchid. All right. Next up is these two. We're gonna go. With, we're, gonna with, we're gonna go with a little Amouage because we know I love Amouage. This is Amouage Journey. Now, this one is not for everybody. This is like. This is very similar to Sunshine Woman. The difference is, because it has the osmanthus in it, the difference is this is a much more rich, much more, um, it, 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 ha it's, it is a journey. So whereas uh, Sunshine Woman is beautiful and has, you know, it does move and, and change, but it's a very pleasant one. This one takes a little more challenging. You need to really wear it a few times to like it but it is deep and it's rich and it's got the osmanthus so it's got that apricot vibe but it, instead of it's got this it's got a stewed apricot vibe because it's got the honey in it and the honey is very prominent along with the osmanthus so this takes it in a different direction so whereas sunshine woman is more um i would say sunshine woman of the two of them is more crowd pleasing even though it is amouage, so I would never say these are super crowd pleasers, but this one is a little more mysterious and a little more, um, uh, a little more, um, cult not I wouldn't say cultured, but it's, it's definitely a little more mysterious and a little more intriguing because it really does take you on a journey. I hope I explained that well because I just went all over the place with that. <sighs> This is interlude. Mm, you can smell the honey on this, but the honey is mixed with um, the other fragrances. This has like that, um, you know how Creation E by Roja has that kind of like um, Coca-Cola vibe. This has that Coca-Cola vibe, but it's but it's got a drizzle. It's got it's like swirled in honey. So if you like that Creation E kind of Coca-Cola vibe. Interlude is very similar, but it's got the honey in it. Mm, it is so good. But the but the uh, florals that, that are in here are very intriguing because you really have to like you know, like let it die, sit on your skin and let them you know come out because they will peek out from the honey. And they're very, this is a very unique fragrance. This is not for everybody, but it's Amouage. So Amouage is one of those um, houses that 
is very unique it's you know so it really does take some of these take time to really enjoy so this is a very mature very cultured and i don't mean that mature and is an age but it has this maturity to the fragrance like it like it it sat around and they thought about it before they put it together like they this there was a really a lot of thought put into this one so that is interlude and i just went on and on i will be cutting out some of that okay so that's interlude now this is sweet oriental dream by montal this is honey almond this is just it's pow it's got a powderiness to it but something about this i just absolutely love this fragrance oh this is gonna be so good in the fall i'm just gonna smell sweet and good and powdery and almondy oh this is so and honeyed up oh my goodness this is so good to me i am so glad i got it i have been wanting it for a long time had not gotten around to getting it but finally got it and yes it's so good next up is honey oud now this is well you know this is this is one of Montal's most popular fragrances for a good reason. Honey Oud is that. It is honey and it is oud and it is beautiful. This thing is just, just, I, I didn't know. You know, when I got it, I got it on a blind uh, uh, sample and I was like, oh my God, this is so good because it's, it, it takes oud in a different direction. You know, it, Usually, ooh, we think of it like with a vanilla or a caramel, but no, baby, this is honey. Now, in the beginning, it is more oud, but as it dries down, that honey blends with that oud, and baby, yes, this is so good. Yeah, ooh, I cannot wait for the fall. This is definitely more of a fall, winter fragrance because it is very, you know, drippy and, 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 um, it's got a drip, you know, it's just got that. When I think of honey, I think of, let's just say, I'm going to show the Ohio Players album cover. I know it's like, you know, but it always reminds me of that. So this has that kind of drippiness of that, you know, album cover to me. Um, next up is this right here, which is Roses Barbaranza by Lancome, Maison Lancome. This is really, y'all know, this is really about the pistachio and the rose, but the honey is there. You know, it's got a booziness to it because it has a boozy note to it. But what happens is that honey combines with the rose and the booziness to really, I mean, y'all know, I love Roses Barbaranza. I, this is one of the more popular ones. And sadly, I think it's been discontinued. Uh, don't, no worries. I'm selling off the rest of this and I have a backup bottle. Yay me. But yeah, this is just a beautiful, rosy, boozy, honeyed up sweetness. This is a very thick, this is a very, this is definitely cold weather. You know, I don't wear that this now because this is just too much for this time of year because it will just overwhelm. It will be too cloying. But in the winter time, baby, you smell like a, you smell like a rose dessert for real, for real. You know, a boozy rose dessert you know, ooh, yes, roses, burn bronzer. If y'all don't know this, if you're new and this is something new to you, mostly yeah, everybody know this is one of my this is one of my favorites. This was this is this is the one that got me into Mason Mason Lancome. Roses Barbarons. This was the very first one I bought. And after that, I lost my damn mind with that damn. Yeah. We're not even gonna talk about that. Okay, let it go. All right, this is Rose All Day by Gallagher. This is well known. If you this, oh my god, this is that apple crisp brown sugar got plum. The sweetness of the honey. The honey is like this is a this is a apple dessert in a bottle this is for real this feels like this just came out the oven it's it's you know 
fall is you know the fall apples are out and you're making you a beautiful dessert for your friends and everything and it's got this apple so it's like an apple crisp but you got a little plum in it and, and you sweeten it up with some honey oh it's got brown sugar in it it's got tonka bean this thing is so incredibly good if you have not gotten your nose on rosé all day you need to go and get your go and get your life together because you need to smell rosé all day this thing is incredibly tasty if you are a gourmand lover if you love to smell like desserts if you want to smell like if you want to smell like somebody's apple dessert you need rosé all day in your life oh yes you do now this one i'm going to show you it, okay so let me just show you this this is called noir toscan by what is this la maison de vanille so it's basically vanille raisin right i got it because it had this grape note. And I was like, oh, well, I don't have anything that has a grape note. Well, I have some, but not like prominent like this. So let me just tell y'all. It does have a grape note. This smells like Welch's grape juice. So the honey is in there. It really sweetens up the grape. But this smells like straight up Welch's grape juice. Now, as it dries down, you start getting a vanilla because they're known for vanillas. I'm thinking about trying some other things for them because they're pretty inexpensive. Um, you can get them. They're from France. This one in particular is not available here in the States. Everyone that has their um, this particular brand, they usually just have the vanilla ones. But this right here smells like Welch's grape juice to me. I swear to y'all it does. I swear to y'all it does it smells like and then like i said it does dry down it does wind up being like a very vanilla -y grape with the honey but it's really sweet it's yeah it's a, it's a lot going on i'm really not a fan of it as you can tell so now these two are my latest honey so let's just get them some this is calvin klein's euphoria amber gold this is my first Euphoria, and let me tell you why. Because I hate the bottles. I hate this whole thing with this big old piece right here. I think it would have looked so much better if they had done it like this and made it more rounded. Like, so it would just be right to here. We didn't have to fill the whole thing, but just a cute little one. But this tall thing, that just tells me that they was like, okay, we done spent enough on this. Let's just throw this top on here because it'll be easy. Because this is an easy top to make and put it on there. But I, this, why, why? It looked like a chimney stack. Is it just me? This looks like a chimney. This is like a fireplace with a chimney. This is like some outdoor fireplace to me now. It really does. Okay, but let me get to the fragrance. This fragrance has honey of course it has honey in it it's a honey amber so in the beginning it leans like it leans masculine on the skin but that doesn't last long so when you first spray it on it does lean slightly masculine on the skin but i promise you as it dries down it becomes this really sweet beautiful amber on and the the honey is in it's like that honey amber vibe it's really nice. Um, I don't think this is for everybody, of course not. But yeah, so if it's it's kind of re reminiscent in the beginning, not that it smells like it, but it's reminiscent of Grand Soir the way Grand Soir can smell can lean very masculine when you first spray it on, and then as it dries down, it becomes sweeter. The amber comes out, things like that. That's kind of what this is. But this has a more prominent honey note in it. So that is um, Cal, uh, Calvin Klein's, this is Euphoria Amber Gold. Now this one is the last one on the list. <sighs> Y'all, this one is so good. Um, yeah. This is B by Ellis Brooklyn. This is the this oh my god this this is a boozy boozy honey this is boozy and sweet and let me tell you it lasts i sprayed one time right here last night you know to try it out because i wanted to wear it i woke up i was still smelling it 
it's finally gone. It took on, it took quite some time, and it was one spray. So I'm betting this is like one of them things I can't you can't overspray or you will kill yourself and all the people in the surrounding area of you. But yeah, this is just oh my goodness, they need to do a bigger bottle of this. That's this is what I'm saying. This is so freaking tasty. It is just this. The honey is rich. And it's the the bee is there. The bee is there. It's honey is rich and gorgeous. Oh my goodness. I am in love with this. Love it. Yes. All right. So that is it for my honey collection. Now, the one that I'm still feel like I need is B by Zoologist because I've heard so many things about it. If you have that one, let me, or try to let me know what you think about it because I still think I need it. I, th I think I need it. Let me know, let me know if I do. But anyway, these are all the honeys that I have right now in my collection. These are all the honeys that I have in my collection. Thank you all for hanging out with me. You know, let me know what you think about honey notes. You know, what you got in your collection that's all that's honeyed up that I might want to try. Anyway, as always, it's your Lulu. Be bold, be brave, be fearless, be free. Flips the wig, she's out of here.